Now, Brandon, we did a post. I said, guys, on your first date, take a girl to go to Corral, buffet and grill. They can get what they want. <laughs> right. But let me before you continue, you have been to Golden Corral before and had the buffet. Because that's important. But back in the early 2000s, this was the place. Right. And because because we've I've had the meat. You know, you've been at the meat station where they slice the meat up for you. Uh-huh. It was pretty good. I ain't gonna lie. I, that, but this is back in the day now. But go ahead. I'm gonna let you So I'm you get the sure. roast beef, huh? Yeah, I got the roast beef. You don't get the steak? <laughs> no, I've got the steak too, but I just want to make sure that you've been there. Because I know I've been there. I would assume you've been to go to Corral. All right, let, let's let's. Do they see have the shrimp? Let me. Ask, I just want to know. Do they have seafood? Because I can't remember. What kind? What do you want? <laughs> shrimp. <laughs> they got <laughs> fried. They got fried and steamed. <laughs> they got them. Okay. Proceed. Proceed. You know. Okay. Check this out. Let's do the history of go to Corral. Let's bring <laughs> people back to the, the beginning. Okay. I don't know about y'all, but early two thousands, go to Corral, or late nineties, girl to Corral hit the scene. Mm -hmm. They got rid of Quincy's. Mm -hmm. They got real Ryan Steakhouse. Yep. They got real Morrison's. They got rid of Piccadilly. What about Shoney's? So go oh, Shoney's. Oh, Shoney's still here, but barely. Yeah. <laughs> so go to Corral, step on the scene. And you knew you were somebody if your whole family went to church and <laughs> went straight to Golden Corral after right. this. See, right. this during the time the women started didn't like to cook no more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, why Start. is that? Why is that? <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. Let me roll it. I'm go doing ahead, the history. Go ahead, go you ahead. don't know the history, Brandon. <laughs> in the late 90s and the 2000s, women didn't like to cook no more on Sundays. So this place was a place to be. Mm -hmm. You walked in and it was like you was at, uh, what's the thing you go around? The, you eat, you got hit with a maze. <laughs> right, the line. The little <laughs> you line. was in mind. <laughs> And on Sundays, everybody had the church clothes on. Everybody. <laughs> right. right. So you hit the line. You go around the little snake. You pick up. You look at your mom. You look at your parents. Damn, can I get can I get a soda or I got to get the clear cup today? <laughs> right. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> you know, our family, you couldn't get a soda. Right. You had to get the clear cup. I didn't get a soda until I started paying for it. Right. I got the clear cup. And they and asked. Did, did your family do the thing where they're like, well, no, we got five people, but everybody's not eating? Correct. When we went to grandma's house. <laughs> we went to grandma's house. These people right here. Well, we know what you got holding paper. These people right here, I just got five right here. Right. <laughs> Did you get that? Here's here's how they trick you. Do you want the buffet? Right. Or you want to order a meal? Uh, a meal. <laughs> I ain't never met a person who ordered. I, I ain't never met a person who ordered a meal and go to crowd, Brandon. <laughs> Why would you order the meal? Right. I and they gonna serve somebody, you the same thing. Somebody, right. right on the bar. <laughs> huh? I, think, I think I went with somebody and they ordered a meal off there. But like you say, it's the same stuff that's on the buffet. <laughs> <laughs> so if you order a meal, this is what they do. They may cook. They they won't cook your steak with the other people's steak on the buffet. They may they cook, cook it in, in the back. back. But the person come out with the plate, okay, they want this, put it, scoop it in, <laughs> scoop it in there, and then say, hey, you get the salad bar for free. You can make your own salad, you right. know? <laughs> so when you go to Corral, you got to order the meal or mm -hmm. order the buffet. 99% of people order the buffet. Right. You get there, you with your whole family, uh, the big lady, the big lady nurse with the big titties with sweat on the titties. <laughs> she come out there, how many you got? Right, man, we got Ted. Ah, then she had to pull right, tables attitude, together. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> got to pull tables together. Then you go down and have a good meal. Right, but like the way you make it seem and sound, it sounds like a good time. This sounds like a good place to go with your family. And it's whenever great, you did Brandon. go, that's what I'm saying. Whenever you did go, you had fun. Kids was running around. It wasn't too loud. I don't ever remember any fights at Golden Corral. It seemed right. like a good family place. And like I say, it was at the church. We had we heard the word. Now we're getting a little, we're getting some all you can eat food. So ain't nobody gonna be hungry after afterwards. Then you get the dessert. What what more could you ask for? Brandon, when I got my job up north making eighty thousand dollars, <laughs> I went to lunch uh -huh. by myself to celebrate. Where did I go to, Brandon? <laughs> you went to go to Corral. <laughs> I went to go to Corral, baby. So you tell me how many black men make eighty thousand dollars, Brandon? Not not many. 20 but I, no wait wait 10 percent. <laughs> <laughs> but i don't know ain't that many but i went to go to corral and ate lunch you mm -hmm. see it's a it's it's a, it's a fun place it is 
Like so, I say, it's I forgot how fun it was. Like I'll, I'll joke about going to Corral, but that when you tell them the story like that, it brought back a lot of memories. Like we've all people our age, we've all been in there. And people, I guess some people in their twenties probably too. They've been to Golden Corral with their family. They might have not wanted to go, but when you're in there, everybody's laughing and joking. It's almost like being at a cookout or at somebody's house, you know, just for Thanksgiving dinner. And I think that's what they created. They might have done it on accident, but that's what they created. If you go there now, if it's lunchtime, you can build a bunch of Spanish guys in there, like <laughs> eating, right? Good, get they get, right, right. Or oh, see, they see the Spanish guys; they like the buffets, so they go to the China China buffet or they go right. to Golden Cry at lunchtime, right. eat and because they can eat all they want to, right, right. You know, so <laughs> I said your first date need to go here, Brandon. Okay, this is a staple in the black in the black <laughs> culture. I hear you. It was a pivoted point. When women stopped cooking on Sundays and we start going to these places to eat. Mm. So why I think a person need to this need to be the first date, bro? Because there's nothing fancy and it's just gonna be you and your date and eating some regular food. You can't oh, you can't take no picture. You can't I mean you can take a picture, but you're not gonna post this picture. <laughs> oh, you your family ain't never took a picture and go to ground, brother. Did, Don't lie to did. me that. They did. They didn't post it. With that though. long table, everybody <laughs> like this on the side. <laughs> you're right. 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 It's gonna be one of those moments, but <laughs> you're not gonna be getting what you would want. And with that other lady who was being taken to the cheesecake factory, that people want a different kind of experience nowadays. So it's gonna be tough to bring a woman to Golden Corral. What's Should it more be more experienced than this, Brandon? Hmm. What's more <laughs> surf and turf? Huh? I hear you. A dessert bar, a la carte, you. almost. <laughs> but you know, people people are fancier nowadays than they were back in the day. Like, you you they don't want to go to Red Lobster. They don't want to go to Olive Garden. They like I said, they don't even want to go to Cheesecake Factory. There's nothing wrong with Cheesecake Factory. Nothing wrong with Red Lobster either. Honestly, my wife just told me she was like, um, I want a dessert from uh, T.J. Friday. She wanted that brownie obsession. I think that's what it is. Uh huh. That that's a good dessert. They got some good food. Like we've had plenty of dates, two for twenty at Applebee's and T.J. Fridays. And when we were dating earlier, that's that's some of the places we went. I didn't have a lot of money, and even if I did have a lot of money, that doesn't mean we need to spend all of it going out to eat. I think we need to make a movement. Bring back <laughs> good conversation. Right. Bring back modest and humble people. Right. I agree. Go, go to the Olive Garden. And take pictures like your Instagram, <laughs> you know. Do right. something that you're too cheap to do at all the bar. You ain't nobody I ain't never seen a black person order a bottle of wine. You could get it, mm, right? <laughs> you, but do you get a cup? I mean, uh, just a glass. I, I've, I've just got a glass at Olive Garden. And you can order the bottle you, if you want to. You can order. Well, how many black people order yeah, that bottle? Can, no, no, no. I see white people order a bottle. Mm, I think I that's the first. Seen, that's the first place I've tried Moscato. I've tried. I've tried Moscato at Olive Garden. But yeah, I, I think that's a great idea. We we should be counter we should counter the movement that's going on where everybody has to be having an extravagant date. Let's push this. Let's push a moderate, you know, family friendly date where you can really get to know somebody. That and you hear the key word family friendly. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you dating a person, the statistics say ninety at least ninety percent y'all want a family. Mm -hmm. But when people go out to date, is that what they're really thinking? You think most people are really dating? They're going on a date to see if they're really going to be with this person? Guys go on to Blake to try to get to get them draws, all right? Correct. All so right. if the girl said, I want to give my draws to this guy, y'all got something going on. <laughs> all right, right. So women, there you go. Guys ain't taking you off nowhere for free. Most likely they ain't. Mm. But how do but how do women tell the difference between or is it no way to tell the difference? Because that's a question they want to know. How do I know if a guy's really interested in me versus a guy who just wants to sleep with me? He took you out and paid they both no, both mm. of them the same thing, bro. Right, that's what I'm saying. So how do they know? <laughs> both of the same thing. But so so what changes in a man's mind? Like, man, I'm maybe I can see myself with this person. Is it when you have the conversation with the woman and you're enjoying the meal? You're like, dang, we really got a lot in common. It's not really about whether how much money I'm spending or I'm stressed out about how much money I'm spending on a date. Like, I really enjoy your company. Like, you're really somebody that's smart. They got a good head on their shoulders. We're, we're heading in the same direction. And I can see myself building something with you. He takes you for us. He, 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 he calls to talk to you the mm. next day okay. or, that, or that night. And he calls to talk to you in a friendly manner. Okay, so after we do the first date at Golden Corral, do we change the second time we go out? Is it a is it a step up or is it a, another restaurant in this same? Well, first ballpark? of all, 
hold on, you let's get too far. Okay. The you first date, you got to test her. Okay. Now, in the early nine, early, late nineties, early two thousand, the cookies that go to crowd was that big. <laughs> All right. They they that. like this. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so what you got to do for the second date? You got to get her put some cookies in her parking book. <laughs> okay, that's the if, test. If she can't put no cookies in the parking book, don't go on no second date. <laughs> Correct. Man, that's that's a, that's a real thing because it's been times where, like I say, early on when I've dated my wife, we're going to the movies. Are we buying snacks and stuff at the movies? Uh-uh. uh-uh. I'll go ahead, open that pocketbook up, put a couple of chicken, uh, Chick-fil-A sandwiches in there. Put you did some... Chick-fil-A sandwiches? I can't remember. That's that's what we did one time. We did uh, Chipotle recently. We put some, put some Chipotle in your bag. You're supposed but... to go to the dog. You don't go to damn Chipotle with a but bowl. I'm, <laughs> I'm just that's the last time we went to the movies. That's what we did in Chipotle. But we've done that. We hit the Dollar Tree up, get some, get a bunch of snacks. We've done that early on. But I'm talking about recently. That's just I'm just naming some of the things I've had my wife or my wife has put in her purse for us at the movie theater. Especially now I got my daughter. She wants popcorn and nachos, all that stuff. That stuff is be about thirty two dollars when you when you ringing it up. Nah, go to the Dollar Tree, get the same, get the same stuff, get a bag of popcorn, nachos. It's which is two dollars. Now, if you have a child, one or two times, I if I had a, child, I may want my child to experience the popcorn. Yeah, and like I said, we do sometimes. And and last time I did, it was thirty two dollars. Yeah, that's it. This time, like we, this is what we doing. <laughs> <laughs> right. hey, good day, everybody. My name is Lewis, and just I'm just came to let you know that I have the best financial book for Black people on the market today. This book is designed to help you with things like student loans, housing, employment, and also create income streams so you can support your family and provide security for everybody around you guys. This book is uh, black owned, and I use a whole lot of black companies making this book. This book is available on the link below. Make sure you check it out, guys. Check out my reviews. As of today, every person who read my book gave me a phone call about how great the book is, guys. Don't miss this great opportunity to own some black magic, guys. And it's a quick read and it's entertainment. Look at it. I got strippers in the name. But the book is called From Zero to 200K. You can check out this book with the link below. Have a good day.